In this video, we're going to do the integral of square root of 25x squared minus 4 over x dx. So we're going to let 25x squared equal 4 secant squared theta. So we're going to divide by 25, so we get x squared is 4 over 25 secant squared theta. So x will be, we're going to take the positive, so it will be 2 over 5 secant theta. dx will be... 2 fifths secant theta tangent theta d theta so this integral will be the integral of 4 secant squared theta minus 4 over x which is 2 fifths secant theta and dx is 2 fifths secant theta tangent theta d theta so 2 fifths secant theta and 2 fifths secant theta will cancel, leaving us with integral. So we can take the square root of 4 out of this out. We get square root of 4 is 2, square root of secant squared theta minus 1 times tangent theta d theta. Squ secant squared theta minus 1 is tangent squared theta. And we're going to assume that the square root of tangent squared theta is tangent theta, so this will be the integral of 2 tangent squared theta d theta. So because so square root of tangent squared theta is just tangent theta, so tangent theta times tangent theta is tangent squared theta. So now we have we're gonna do another trick identity that tangent squared theta is secant squared theta minus one. So this will be two times the integral of secant squared theta d theta minus the integral of d theta times 2. So this will be the integral of secant squared theta with respect to theta is 2 tangent theta. And the integral of 2 theta is, or 2 d theta is just 2 theta. So originally we had that x is 2 fifths secant theta. So we're going to solve for secant theta. So secant theta is 5 halves x. So secant theta will look like this. This will be a right angle, 90 degree angle. This will be theta. So secant theta is hypotenuse over adjacent. So hypotenuse is this length. So that would be 5. So this will be 5x. So this will be 5x over 2. And adjacent is here. So this will be 2. This opposite side will be square root of 25x squared minus 4. Because that's b squared, that's c squared minus a squared. So c would be 5x, a would be 2. And 25x squared minus 4 is actually in the integral itself. So if you see this, you're like on the right track. So tangent theta. So that would be opposite over adjacent. So we know what adjacent is. Adjacent is 2. And opposite would be square root of 25x squared minus 4. So finally, we have 2 tangent theta, which is square root of 25x squared minus 4 over 2 minus 2 theta. So secant theta is this, which means that cosine theta can be written as so the reciprocal. So that would be 2 over 5x. So this is theta is inverse cosine of 2 over 5x. So this would be 2 times inverse cosine of 2 over 5x. This will be, so 2 over 2 will cancel, so this will be square root of 25x squared minus 4 minus 2 inverse cosine of 2 over 5x at c. And that is the answer to this integral. And that's the end of the video.